The topic of this presentation is Issues in Child Development in Nigeria by Beta and Otunta, Lecturer, Department of Business Administration, College of Management Sciences, Michael Opara, University of Agriculture, Mudike, Abia State in Nigeria. The presentation outline. Number one is abstract. Who is a child? What is the proper view of a child? Child development and child's welfare and so on. Looking at the abstract, we are talking about the issues in child development in Nigeria. Who is a child? Then using international children's rights laws and Nigeria in particular, the study mentioned that children should be seen as right possessors and not just as object of adult control and domination, and that children's welfare is not limited to the physical but is wholesome, including religious, spiritual welfare, educational welfare, and as many welfare that can enhance the development of a child. The government should bring up good children's rights policies that will protect the children's interests. The highlighted points will be treated briefly in the succeeding slides. The question is who is a child? Generally, a child is seen as a person under the age of 18 years. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, 1989, as well as African Union Charter, of the rights and welfare of the child, Article 1 and, and 2 of both treaties state that a child is a person under the age of 18 years. This is also the case with Nigerian Child Rights Act of 2003. Section 277 of the Act has the same age restrictions. The age of contractual capacity is 21 years. And so caution must be taken in looking at the, who a child is and the years of a child. Many of our children attend schools up to the age of 22 or 25 years these days. Even when they complete basic education or even tertiary education, many do not become self-reliant until much later. And so these social economic realities must be put into consideration. What is the proper view of a child? At home, parents view children as property of the parents. Outside in the community, they are seen as members of the community with individual interests which must be protected. The government sees them as deprived and depraved. Child development and welfare. According to Lord Lindley of the United Kingdom House of Laws, in 1893, he said that the welfare of the child is not to be measured by money only, nor by physical comfort only. The whole, the word welfare must be taken in its widest sense. The moral and religious welfare of the child must be considered as well as its physical well-being, nor can the ties of the affection be disregarded. These aspects of the child's welfare are to be regarded as interacting with other so as to constitute a totality. It is an error to concentrate on one to the exclusion of others. Looking at child's welfare, we talk about material needs. These children need clothes to cover themselves. Physical and emotional welfare, they need to be heard from, they need to be listened to. Moral welfare, you, the parents should inculcate good moral welfare into the children, whether religious source, from religious sources or from cultural sources. Education, quality education should be given to them. Then religious or spiritual welfare, they will be taught the way they should follow according to the holy book so that when they grow up, they will not deviate from it. Following from the above welfare means, we should look at these uh, the, the, we should give attention to the early childhood development issues. What is their problems? When you look into the main work, you will look at the problems the, the early children face. The primary schools as well, then the secondary school. You, we look at the, the continued disadvantages in educational access for girls in the northern Nigeria. They are being 
kind of marginalized. They don't go to school by age 13. They are already given out to husbands. Low enrollment in and poor quality of public sector, vocational and technical. What rights affect child development issues? There are many rights that affect child development issues. The family state relationship that some merges the child sees the family as an autonomous, natural, and private institution outside the rim of the state and alongside bound up with the privacy accorded to families as responsible for in the for the dependent members. This means that the state's policy in the relationship will focus on the family as a unit. Consequently, the fact that children are subsumed within the term family prevents them from becoming the primary focus of policy. We are therefore suggesting strongly that the state policy targeted at child should be exclusively child-focused or child-centered. The child should be entitled to an opportunity to make his views known. Let us look at these principles. We have about, about five principles here. Children are visible and central. Children are people with inalienable human rights. Children have a right to special assistance and so forth and so on. In 1972, Foster and Fred advocated a 10 points. One is receive parental love and affection, be supported, be regarded as a person within the family, at school and before the law, receive fair treatment from all in authority, be heard and listened to, and so forth and so on. Conclusively, we must see them as right, we must see children as right possessors and not just as objects of adult control and domination. Children's welfare and development issues are wide ranging and are not limited to physical welfare only. Importantly, they must be perceived from the perspective of rights and not privileges. That said, government must become more proactive in installing pro family policies that will assist parents fulfill their obligations to their children. Tax relief should be implemented and rates should be minimal in the case of families with children. Housing policy must favor families with children. This will leave more money in the pockets of the parents to cater to the welfare of their children. The state should take up the care of abandoned and abused neglect children. Parents should stop excessive drinking, smoking and flirting must be avoided by parents. Parents should be should complement family government policies by working hard to cater for the needs of children. Absent parenting is wrong. Both parents must be present in the home to give attention to children. Parents must be very interested in what their children are doing at home in the neighborhood and at school. The truth is that there are many things that parents can do to contribute to the development of children. Let us try our best and save these children from pedophiles. If we fail, let it not be because that we did not do our best. The Creator loves families and with this support will be, will, and with this support, we will succeed. Thank you and thank you and thank you.